Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we're just going to show you guys how you can start randomizing the question orders that you might have within your Qualtrics survey. So, as we really start our videos, we're just going to first identify which form we're going to want to start randomizing our questions at. Here, we're going to choose the customer feedback for online shop. So let's just open this by clicking it. Next thing you're going to want to do is to identify the block under which all of the questions that you want to have in a random order are actually located in. So here we're going to randomize all of the questions under the review block. Just to take note, when you actually randomize questions, you will be randomizing questions within an entire block, not sub questions within a greater question like here in our matrix table. So what you're going to want to do is to actually select the entire block under which all the questions will be located. And then on the left side of your page, you're going to see that you have opened the edit block menu. Under it, you're going to see block behavior. And under this, you're then going to see question randomization. So let's just click that. And then here you have options on how you can start randomizing the question order within the block. So you can either have no randomization, which is the preset option for all blocks. You can randomize order for all questions. You can also present only a certain number of the total questions, which would be really great for quizzes. If you have like, let's say 50 questions and you only want your viewer to only see a random 10 of them or a random number of them. You can also do advanced randomization, though we would just have to take note that that uh, and advanced randomization is really for when you want to get into the specifics of each question, meaning that if you want to include specific questions into the randomize all items option, or if you want to only include specific questions into the randomized subset where you'll be randomizing and inserting that random amount of questions into the display for your respondents. You can also have an excluded items list for, let's say, if you have a question you don't want to add into the randomized feature anymore. And lastly, you can also show an amount of questions on each page. So we're not going to use the randomized advanced randomization feature. We're just going to hit randomize order of all questions so that if you were to save this, this should be in a different order. So just take note of question two, three, and four, if the randomization did work, we should not be seeing those three questions in order. Let's just add a name. And as you can see, our questions were randomly ordered. And while the first question remains where it is, these last two ones were flipped in order due to the randomization feature. And that's all you really have to say about this. Hopefully this helps you better manage any data collection you might be doing. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help when it comes to Qualtrics, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.